Hey guys, I uh, I feel unsafe because a man who hasn't looked at even the back of my head once for even a second is in the room making me feel unsafe. Bitch, you're the ghost. I didn't even notice you're there. I actually asked, did you just sit down? And I was genuine about that, but I realized how fucking rude it is. So I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> And then I'm like, fuck, I'll just make it rude, fuck it. I'm like, you know how safe a ghost is, bitch? I'm the, you're the one haunting. You're the one haunting me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that girl wants it so bad, you know? But we have to punish the kitty now. You don't get Zerka dick for misbehaving on the podcast, you dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny, though, is if she caught me on a weird day, and she just, like, I love the quietness. I don't know. <laughs> she goes to podcasts to blend in with the wall. But uh, I like the quietness. It was cute. Like, when I did notice her, I noticed she's so quiet that I never noticed her. <laughs> And I realized, oh, I like that in a girl. But, uh, yeah, she's like those type of girls that if she just said, hey, John, I want to suck you off, I'd say, yeah. I'd say, yeah, you earned it. You're quiet. You know, you're not horrible to look at. Uh, you got some emotional <laughs> damage. And uh, there's something so hot about a girl. When a girl says, you're disgusting to me, it gives me, like, flash memories of, only two X's really, but uh, I fucked the shit out of those two. Those are my favorites. All right? You're not fucking someone you hate. So yeah, she became attractive after she started hating me, you know? I just need an electromagnetic uh, tracker to find her now. <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> ghost joke. <laughs> Crisis King, let's go.